Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Okay, guys, another video from the 50-acre farm. Nana and I are here. <laughs> we are. Uh-oh, be careful. We got to be careful of these little vines that try to trip us. So somebody was planting uh, pepper over here. And now my husband, this is the place my husband told you guys about. He gave them the chance to come and take the plantain seedlings from our farm. They don't have to buy it. Take it and bring it here and plant it. And then keep this place weeded so he can plant his cocoa here. And, um, yeah, they decided they didn't want to do it. So, like, like my husband said, like my, like my husband said, um, if they didn't, he was going to do it. And true to his word, they didn't do it and he is doing it. So, so we have a uh, measuring stick here that measures uh, 10 feet. And what I've learned is that the plantain have to be planted 10 feet apart. We have some people right here. Is it here? Here. We have some people transporting the plantain seedlings from the truck, as you guys might have seen in a previous video. Um, yeah. Please, can you put this one of the truck? Me pacha. Medasi. That was a different kind of garden egg, guys. It, it's like the round ones we have at the house, but it's purple instead of yellow. Yeah, so I will take that one. Nana, can you tell him I wanted to put it out the truck? Tell him I want to keep it for the seed. <laughs> okay? And then come back. Nana's my interpreter, guys. So I wanted to keep that uh, garden egg and try and plant some at the house. <laughs> so my husband is marking it out. Sorry, guys, this video is a little distracted, but we'll get, we'll get there. My husband has started digging the holes, right? So he, he has the uh, measuring stick. So 10 feet is what it has to be, right? He is going around, he's marking it, and then they will dig the hole and put the plantain in. Yeah, so he is marking it. Um, he's marking it. So what he's doing is he's measuring and then mark, and then um, starting the hole, and then they will come back in so they don't have to measure and do it. So here's one. He measured 10 feet, and then there's another one he started. So he started over there on that row, and then is working his way back this way. Uh-huh. So that is what we're doing. So true to his word, as he always is, they did not come and do, and they were going to sell the plantain as well. When the plantain grew up, he was even going to let them sell the plantain. Yep. But uh, they did not do what they, what he said. And so now he's going to come. And they shouldn't come back again for this one. So their pepper is pretty much finished anyway. But um, there's still peppers here. But... Um, they are not going to come back on the land and use the land anymore. So my husband is coming in this space here to plant cocoa. To plant cocoa. So it's a little bit hard to get them started and get it going like it needs to. But uh, he's working on it. He's working on it. Uh -huh, the guy is showing him. 
If you left out, I'm not just saying, you know, that bitch is going to die. Okay. Okay. No, 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 so this man has been helping out the farm a lot. Um, he's been helping, so he's helping my husband see how they have to plant it. My husband is the one going to measure and start the holes. Efu is digging the holes, and Ken is digging the holes. And I think this man will dig as well. Mm -hmm. So that is what's going on, guys. They've gone back to get some more of the plantain. Yep, so they're going to carry all the plantain that were down there in the truck. They're going to carry all of them up here. My husband's goal was to get um, all of these planted today and get this place situated so that we can come in uh, when the agric officer comes. I think he might come today. When he comes, he will see what we have done and then know the seedlings that he has to give so that um, we can expand the cocoa farm here on the 50 acre farm. So this side of the farm that we're on is the 24 acre side. So you see we walked, well, I didn't take you guys with us. I'll take you guys back probably. Um, we walked far deep into the farm when we came from the truck. So to get back to the truck is a, it's a pretty good ways away. And uh, this side of the farm, like I said, it has less road frontage, but it is deep. So it's very, very nice. Evo is digging some, the holes. I guess they're going to dig the holes and then come back and put the plantain in there afterwards. Yep. So that is what we got going on. That is what we got going on. So we were supposed to also have our helper come. The one that helps us at the house. But I don't know what happened. He didn't show up today. That was the second day this week. He didn't show up. He didn't show up Monday. He didn't show up today. So he started out doing good. He slipped back. And then he started doing really good. And then, I don't know, this week so far, it's only Wednesday. And two days he hasn't showed up. So we got up really, well, I got up a little early. I always get up at 4. But um, I got up a little before four. But what we did different was we went, I went down there to the animals very early. Sorry, guys. Got me a bite. Nana. Ah, Nana is going to be working, guys. Nana is going to be uh, carrying the plantain one by one. <laughs> so we thank God for that. I want to uh, put an ant. Okay, guys, sorry. Um, Nana is going to be carrying the plantain to the holes. So as they dig the holes, Nana will carry the plantain over there so they can plant it easy. So putting him to work, it's good. He likes working. <laughs> Nana, are you a plantain farmer? <laughs> wow, you're picking the big ones. Good job. So they are digging. He is um, making sure the holes are the right spacing. And then they are digging. So Nana is bringing the plantain over to the holes so that they will be able to plant it. Yep. 
got cloud cover still, which is nice because otherwise this would be directly in the sun. Mm -hmm. So they're coming, I think, with some more. Yep, they're coming with some more plantain. So these are the seedlings, guys. So when they cut them, that's what they do. They cut them, they cut the leaf. And, uh, yeah. So they're taking them. We have um, three boys and two ladies that are carrying the plantain. They put them in the bags. We brought the feed bags. So they put some in the bags. And then uh, put some in the bags and then uh, carry them here. There we go. Nana is getting another plantain. Bringing it to the hole. They have a lot of water in them, guys. So they're kind of heavy. So that's it. To planting the plantain seedlings. They dig them up. Cut off the leaves on the top. Then we dig the hole, and then, um, okay, with the other side of the shovel, we put the dirt in and pack it down in there. And that's it, guys. That's it. So then it will be ready for the um, for the cocoa to be planted. Yep. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this plantain planting party we're having here. Um, Everybody has a job. My job is to capture it for you guys and enjoy my 50-acre farm with my husband. <laughs> I do enjoy being here. It's peaceful. It's beautiful. It's, it's serene. It's quiet. It's, it's wonderful. I absolutely love being here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys stick around and you will be able to see... Um, later once the cocoa is planted and is growing guys just stay on the journey with us and if you guys are interested in doing similar things to this the reason we decided to um start taking care of the cocoa that was on this land and um even expand the cocoa farm is because the agrig officer came and spoke with my husband and asked him to please don't cut it down because that was the plan because people were cheating us and um, they were supposed to give half of the cocoa and they weren't and my husband was done with it he was just going to cut it down and plant something else but the agri officer asked him to please don't cut it down and then showed him what to do and told him that the government was even willing to help with some of the fertilizers and sprays and guide him in how to be able to care for it. So it started there and now it has grown to us expanding the cocoa farm to make it a like a, you know, an even space instead of having little spots here and there, right? So that is what we're doing here. Then I'm um, thinking that the rest after we, uh, after we do this part of the cocoa farm, the rest of this 24 acres will be corn probably. We have coconut on the borders, of course, but the rest of it will probably be corn because we really need corn.
so yeah so that's what we got going on and if you guys are interested in doing the same thing you can just contact us our my husband's contact information his name is maxwell mensa and you will find it on the contact us page of our website aaimcs.com go to the contact us page and find his whatsapp contact information if you guys are interested in farming farming's the way to go guys farming is the way to go no matter what happens in the world everybody eats right that's what i always say no matter what happens in the world everybody eats and it is very very good very very good to uh, work on a farm right so if you're interested contact him he has several areas where he knows of farmland, uh, legitimate farmland for sale. And he will be more than happy to help guide you guys to purchase your own farmland. Okay, we are in the eastern region and all the farmland um, that he knows about is in the eastern region. Yep, so that's where we are. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Nana is working hard. We'll be sure to get with him later. We're going to do an interview, guys. Stay tuned for that video. We're going to do an interview, and we're going to ask Nana some questions. Nana, will you be willing to answer some questions for us? Yes. Okay. So he's working hard right now. Strong, strong guy. Young man. I'm not going to call him a boy anymore, guys. He's turning to be a young man. He's growing quickly. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for those videos, guys. We're going to interview Nana and see what he thinks about it all. All right, guys. Till next time. God bless you.